Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Power of number nine. Number six. And number 11. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 26. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Others of you are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You might be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Others of you could be dealing with <clears throat> a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You might also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Strong Leo energy coming in through the number 19. Scorpio and Aries energy coming in through the number 16. Gemini, Virgo, and Aries coming back in through the power of number one. And some of you could be dealing with another fixed sign of the zodiac. That would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, again, Scorpio. So you might be 21, 26, or 29 years of age. You could have been born in 1961, 1962, 1966, or 1969. Others of you could have been born in 1991, 1992, or possibly 1996. So that's what's going on in the power of the numbers. Messages from your specific person. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, and 26. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean... They're holding back. They've been holding back for a long time. But what are they holding back? Four of coins, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, more specifically. Let's see what this is all about. Mmm. Interesting. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming in through the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. For some of them, they're holding back commitment. They could also be dealing with another higher level of commitment outside of you. They could also be married. If they're dealing with a third party, there's a withholding energy going on between them and the third party. They're holding back the fact that they want to be single. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming back in again. Wow, Earth energy is dominating this reading. If they're involved in another connection, they don't want it anymore because somebody wants to be single. So either the third party wants to be single or they want to be single.
I couldn't let you get close to me. So in the past, they were holding back a lot of vulnerability. They weren't being their true, authentic self. They've been holding back that they want to tell you something. They want to tell you how they feel. They may even be holding back from this third party their true intentions or their true feelings because I've got nothing but coin energy. So with them dealing with a third party, it's all on the surface. It's all earthly, material, tangible gain. There is no true love between them and if you know for a fact that they're dealing with a third party or in some kind of higher level of commitment. Somebody could also be holding, third party could be withholding their love from your person. I feel like they're, they're definitely trying to break free. You know, why do they want to be single? Because they want to come towards you. I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm-hmm. So past tense. They've known every single move that they have made in regards to the connection with you, the things that they have said. But I also feel here too that this third party knows exactly what they're doing as well. What else are they holding back? Official person. This is about them coming forward and speaking their truth. They're holding back taking action. Because of third party. I can feel it. So the official person. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Yeah, they're waiting for an ending. They're waiting for an ending in some other kind of commitment so that they can come forward and tell you exactly how they feel. Occupation. It's almost as if this other connection that they could be dealing with or have been dealing with, it's... This third party is more into the fact of what your person can provide, provide for them. But I don't feel like this third party is really being over the top, giving, or generous at all. It almost feels like your person could be working day and night in order to suffice this third party's craving for material gain. Mm. What else do they want to tell Scorpio? Like how they feel? Seven of Swords. Something about sneaky behavior or they want to sneak away. They want to sneak away from that third party in order to tell you how they feel. But they don't want to get caught. They don't want to get caught because they're waiting for an ending. Trusted ancestors, how does this person feel that Scorpio has been dealing with? How does this other person feel about the third party? What's going on here? How else do they feel about the third party? There's a judgment call. Your person has a judgment call on this third party or spirit is on them to pay attention to the red flags about this other connection.
Knight of Swords, you know, this person may also have this feeling that this third party also has a jealousy streak. And I almost feel like your person's in a little bit of paranoia because I think they're worried that somebody is going to try to replace them and try to, you know, grab you up and, and whisk you off, even though the connection between you and this person that you've been in love with has been, you know, done and over with for a while. But deep down inside of your heart, Scorpio, you don't feel like this is over per se. And they may not feel that way either, that it's over, but they chose to go off into this tumultuous relationship that really actually has no true love. It's on the surface. So I feel like they're a little bit paranoid or this person would end up being jealous if somebody tries to steal you away from them before they're ready to end. Think about that. Ready to end this connection, be single. You know what that, you know what the undercurrent is? It's like they're hoping that you are in fact waiting on them. <sighs> That's pretty messed up. Yeah, they're waiting for an ending with that third party, bottom line. And they're restless, they're not sleeping. They're waking up in the middle of the night. They're getting haunted by their dreams. They might even see you in their dreams at night. Knowing what they did, how they acted, all of that. They are waiting for the ending between them and the karmic. Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. <laughs> they could have told you something like that. And yet they were seeing somebody else behind the scenes or they already had another interest in somebody. So they weren't afraid of giving a commitment. They just weren't giving a, a full blown out commitment to you, Scorpio. That doesn't make you not worthy. That just shows you some of the shadiness that this person was doing to you. And they were insecure about the relationship. <laughs> there you go. I fear you will never forgive me. Hence the reason why they're feeling maybe a sense of paranoia that somebody is going to sweep you off your feet. Somebody else other than them that's going to try to sweep you off your feet, give you the kind of commitment that you want before they're ready for this stupid ass relationship that they're dealing with with the karmic third party. Whose fault is this? There's. So much wasted time and energy. I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. So they're replaying in their mind. Hence the reason why for that nine of swords that we saw on the bottom of the deck. They're like replaying in their mind. The things that they did. Their actions. All of this. And now it's like making them nervous. There's some nervous tension that's going on from that Nine of Swords that we saw and also with the Knight of Swords. Again, they feel that somebody else is going to come in your direction, sweep you off your feet, and that they're not maybe going to have an opportunity to give you this full blown out commitment. What else are they afraid of with Scorpio? That you will walk away from them. That you really are going to turn them down when they come forward. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy going on. There, this person has been in their ego for a very long time. Again, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let, like I said, a lot of Earth energy coming in. Yet this person behind the scenes, they are obsessing. They're obsessing still over your energy.
Yeah, because they're wanting to take action. King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're obsessing over you. They're missing your physical presence. They're desiring you. It's almost like they're craving you right now. And they're trying to be, you know, reserving and holding back their energy. And it's just driving them freaking nuts because it's putting them into an imbalanced frequency. They need to just tell, honestly, and I get it. They just honestly need to tell this third party, say, I'm done. That's it. I'm done. I don't want this. I thought I wanted it. I don't want this. I can't. I just can't do this anymore. They need to call it out as it is. And they're... Their greatest fear, besides you not forgiving them, their other fear is that the people around them are going to try to persuade uh, him or her. They're like, no, you should really stay. Oh, you guys need to work this out. And, you know, with the karmic third party, you know, and, and work this out. They're afraid of public embarrassment. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of people getting all nosy and up in their business. Trusted ancestors, what is it about this third party that's turning Scorpio's person off? Either that the karmic is all about the money or is giving time and energy to other people. Again, there's no love. There's also some mysterious energy or they don't, your person may not exactly trust this third party entirely. Some of you are dealing with the Cancerian. Yeah, they know that this karmic is not giving them, not giving them the love or giving love and attention elsewhere. How bad does Scorpio's person really truly want to leave this karmic? Like, yeah, because here you are, Scorpio. They're wanting it to end. They're, they're, how bad? They want it to end. Bottom line. Yeah, it's the truth. Got the Ace of Swords. They just want it to end. How are they going to end this? How are they going to end this third party? They might just call it out as it is. There's, this is the breakup card. Split, divorce, separation. What will be the events leading up to that split, uh, separation, or divorce? When the arguing starts to calm down or there's just somebody's just tired of arguing or just conflict. They're tired of the conflict. Because now they're thinking about being with you. Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They've always wanted to be back with you. They just... <laughs> this person is very complex, Scorpio. <laughs> they're very complex. Because their fear is so great, it's overriding, you know, a lot of their confidence right now. And they don't like feeling this way because I can feel it off of them. I think they're in the FOMO, like the fear of missing out with you, you know, especially if your life is elevating Scorpio and good things are happening to you. They can be hearing things through the grapevine and I feel like they fear, fear that they're missing out with you or some great things, but yeah, they're, they're ready to be done with the third party. They can't deal with them anymore. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a summer reading special for questions for $25. So if you'd like to get on my earliest recording schedule, again, email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. 
And if you love this content, Scorpio, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.